to a lot of people are in fear right now. They have, uh, they're unsure about what's going to happen to them. President Biden announcing today the Justice Department will file an appeal against the DACA ruling. Thanks for sticking with us after that nail biter of a game five in the NBA Finals. I'm Rudy Mireles. The president calling the halt on applications disappointing, adding that nine years after the program was created, Congress has not acted. While the ruling does not affect hundreds of thousands of current recipients, it does leave questions about their renewals. Here's Monica de Anda with more. For Diego Corso, the U.S. is home. Yo soy un soñador. Vine de Perú a los nueve años. Me mudé a la Florida con, mis, con mi familia. When former President Barack Obama issued an executive order back in 2012 creating the DACA program, Corso felt a sense of relief. Estoy a los 22 años por primera vez en mi vida pude manejar legalmente con, con un ID y también pude trabajar. Y eso me ayudó bastante. But since 2012, Corso, like thousands of other dreamers, have dealt with the emotional roller coaster that's followed DACA for almost a decade. And the uncertainty continues for dreamers after federal judge Andrew Hannon ordered an end to the DACA program Friday. The judge stated that the DACA was implemented unlawfully because the Obama administration didn't follow uh, the correct steps to implement this program. Jorge de la Fuente, an immigration attorney at Lupe, tells us Hannon's order does not affect current DACA recipients or those looking to renew their work permit. But it does prevent any dreamer from applying for the program. A lot of people are in fear right now. They have, uh, they're unsure about what's going to happen to them. Um, we here at Lupe have already filed thousands of DACA, initial DACA applications. So we have received many calls, many questions. We live with that insecurity that we don't know what's going to happen in two years when we have to renew the document again. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. In September 2017, the Trump administration announced it was ending the program. But in June 2020, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled the administration hadn't ended the program properly, allowing dreamers to apply for DACA once again. Since then, De La Fuente says Lupe has filed about 1,000 DACA applications for dreamers here in the Valley. And while they're back to the waiting game, Corso says he tries to remain hopeful that one day Congress will pass a path to citizenship for dreamers like him. Un día espectacular porque ya, ya no tenemos que vivir sin miedo o con, con ese miedo y esa, y esa uncertainty que, que bastante de los dreamers tenemos porque no sabemos qué va a pasar. Mónica de Anda, Channel 5 News, this weekend.